now today we are going to learn how to convert from newton to dyne using of dimensional analysis concept okay which one is for class 11 okay so today we are going to learn how to convert newton to dyne using of dimensional analysis concept okay so i am taken cgs system and si system si system which one is follow as a m k s cgs system which one is follow as a c centimeter gram second okay first we will see centimeter gram second okay the force unit in a centimeter gram second we can take it as a dyne okay mass unit in a cj system which one we are going to take it as a gram okay which one i am going to take it as a capital m1 okay the length we are taken as a centimeter which one i am going to take it as a it is a l1 okay length one and time one okay so mass we can take it m so length we can take it l time we can take it as a t this is the dimensional formula okay so and also cj system grams centimeter second that is a unit i wrote here okay the same unit okay uh, the force unit in a cj system we can take it as a newton okay which one i am going to take it as a n2 okay dimensional formula for mass it is a m we are taken as a m2 it is a one system to another system that is a reason m1 m l1 t1 here m2 l2 t2 okay now we are going to learn how to convert from one unit to the another unit using of dimensional analysis concept okay the formula will be m1 l1 t1 n1 is equal to n2 l2 uh, m2 l2 t2 okay the power of x power of y power of z x y is it both have the same unit okay dyne and newton with have the same power of uh, dimension okay now we'll learn what is a force force is equal to mass into acceleration so the unit of mass will be kg acceleration will be meter by second square so the same unit you can write kg meter second minus two okay so m mass we are taken as m length we are taken as l time we are taken as a t okay the power of mass okay so mass will be one okay uh, length will be one time will be minus two okay that means m power x l power y t power z okay so x is equal to 1 y is equal to 1 z is equal to minus 2 okay now we learned what is x y z okay so we are i am taken this is a equation 1 i am going to substitute everything in a equation 1 okay already we know m1 l1 t1 okay which one is follow as a cj system okay now we are finding what is the dyne okay so n2 n1 which is a question mark okay so is equal to n2 times of m2 divided by m1 l2 divided by l1 t2 divided by t1 okay so the bracket whole power i made as a uh, x together y together is it together okay we have the value x1 y1 is it minus 2 okay so n1 is a uh, which one is follow as a dime n2 is a which one is follow as a newton okay this is one newton so m2 is a k it which one is representing as a c mk system so we can take it as a kg divided by it is a gram which one is follow as a cj system okay so like this power x okay l2 is a centimeter uh, it's a meter l l1 is a centimeter okay the power of y t2 is a second and t1 is a second both in a cgs si second will be the common here will be the z okay now x value will be one one y value will be one one z value will be minus two that means it is one so one kg is a thousand thousand gram okay thousand gram because numerator and denominator i am changing as a same unit thousand gram divided by one gram power of one here one meter is a hundred centimeter hundred centimeter divided by one centimeter okay the power of one y value will be one uh z value will be minus two okay one second 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 unit will be cancelled one minus two okay one power whatever it will be the same one only okay so that is uh, we can take it this value as a one okay so gram gram get cancelled centimeter centimeter get cancelled here three zeros is there here two zeros is there totally five zeros 10 power five okay so dyne value we are taken as 10 power five okay so again we have the conversion one newton is equal to dash dyne we got as a 10 power five dyne okay thank you for watching my video if you like my channel please subscribe thank you everyone